<laughs> in order to sync your grades, you want to do a few things. First, in your Infinite Campus, you want to make sure that your gradebook is already set up under your settings where you have um, selected your grade calc options, selected your term grade, created and also created your categories. In your Canvas uh, courses, you want to make sure in each specific course that you've gone to settings and under feature options, the tab at the far right, you want to make sure the post grades to student information system is clicked on green. One other thing you'll want to look at and make sure it has happened is under your assignments, the list of assignments that you want to sync over have this um, circle with the two arrows and it is check marked green. If it's that got the gray X through it, it's not going to sync over. So once you hover over there, it says sync to infinite campus disabled. If you click it, it enables the sync to infinite campus. And finally, the last requirement in order to transfer the um, assignment over and sync your grades is to make sure that you have a due date for that specific assignment. Once those things are in place, you're going to come over here to grade sync and you'll have two tabs on the window that comes up. One is reporting, and this will list all the reports of all the times you've attempted to sync. And the one on the right is to sync. Here, you can do a scheduled daily sync. So every night, in the middle of the night, it will sync all your assignment grades over. And you also have the manual submit button where you can sync anytime you're ready to manually upload those grades. If I submit, it will say it's going to run the assignments. You can come over here to reporting and if you refresh your screen, it will list your new um, request there. And then you have the little symbols up here and it tells you what's happening. So right now I'm in queue. And if you refresh again, it will tell you whether it's in queue or if it's in process. Once you have submitted and it has processed the assignments, it's gone through, you're going to see a new window pop up over here next to all your drop downs at the top of your Infinite Campus gradebook. And it's called Uncategorized Assignments. It will have a number here of the number of assignments that have transferred over. So right now, just for the purposes of this training, I've only transferred one assignment over, but you can transfer all of your assignments at once, and it can have numbers like 45, 50, whatever you are doing. Um, one reason that assignments not, might not transfer over if you're coming upon an error is the title of your assignment name may be too long. You need to make sure that your assignment names are limited to 50 characters or less. You click on the uncategorized assignments, and at this point, you'll have a list of all the assignments you've transferred over. And it, um, this is the screen where you will put them into the appropriate category that you want that assignment to fall under. So you have this box here and you can fill all. Above, you want to select your term grade. And here you want to select your category. You can have multiple categories. It's fine. You just need to create those within your IC gradebook. And over here with your list of assignments, you're going to select the assignments that you want to be in that specific category. You can then fill selected and it will fill all the windows here for the assignments you choose to have in that specific category. When you save it, it says it has aligned to your gradebook and then that assignment will appear. If you're worried it's not there, just make sure you're in term grade. <laughs> and then that assignment now appears in my gradebook um, based on the due date it was given. The um, assignments that end up in here are given a nickname, just like we had to create nicknames for our own assignments. It just gives it the first letter of each uh, word in the name of your assignment. And when you do click on the assignments, there will be some things that you don't have ac access to change through IC just because it was imported from an external tool. So you can see here that grades have imported from my Canvas uh, class. And if you see a white opening, it's because a student has submitted something 
So if, for instance, I had put a zero in for all the students who hadn't turned something in, all the zeros would be here on this screen underneath that assignment. However, as the um, assignments continue to sync nightly, if a student happens to turn something in while, um, oh, you know, overnight or the next day, then that, when it syncs again, the box will turn white and the zero will disappear so you know that there is something in Canvas that does need to be um, graded. So it's no longer negatively affecting their grade until you grade it again and then the new grade will sync over. The key is you really want to use Canvas as your main gradebook because everything you do in Canvas will nightly sync over to Infinite Canvas. And so if you create an assignment in Canvas, then you link that assignment um, to your Infinite Campus when it syncs over, you put it into its category. You no longer need to create assignments in IC. When you are grading a student's work, if it's been submitted through Canvas, you just grade it there in the speed grader, or you can grade the papers they turn into you and put it into Canvas. And then that night, if you select the um, nightly sync, all those grades will sync over into Infinite Campus and you should see them there the next morning.